man, photography, <sighs> it, it changes you. It, I, I, I've been shooting for years, but it's really, I wouldn't be standing here talking to this camera while well, talking to you guys uh, without it. And uh, I cannot thank it enough. Um, I'm pretty sure it's helped me with many of the tough times that I've had in my life. And even the good times, it just makes them better. It makes me drive down the road and look for compositions or leading lines or chaos or, you know, old and new. And I look at the world in a different way and I can't thank photography enough to see that. So today is the first day of my Western Colorado experience here in the San Juan Mountains. I got in uh, last night, right around sunset, so I tried to scout some locations. Couldn't really find much, um, don't know the area at all. So I started this morning off by going to one of the more popular locations to shoot sunrise, which is not typically what I enjoy doing, but I had no idea where I wanted to be, what I wanted to shoot. So I just went with something that might give me something. Uh, and I didn't film at all, it's right off the highway. It's busy. Uh, but now I'm off one of the county roads and as you can tell, it's pretty beautiful. And uh, I'm just scouting some more locations. The conditions both for sunrise and right now are not very good. It had some cloud, we had some clouds in the sky. Um, but it's just super hazy. You can, you can see it in the top of the screen uh, that it's just, it, the light isn't, it's very um, soft right now, which can work in some cases, but I'm just not finding any compositions that work with these Aspens. Uh, they really tend to want some light on them, it feels like. I've shot a few photos, but uh, I don't know if anything came out. We're here for four days. So probably plenty of material ahead of this. And uh, we're just gonna keep looking for compositions. A lot of the stuff is side of the road, a little bit of a walk, no big hikes or anything. So you'll be seeing a lot of that. And uh, yeah, let's, let's keep looking and hopefully we can find something. Off-roading was definitely worth it. The place I'm standing right now is absolutely beautiful. And just got all packed up, ready to walk around and see if we can find a composition. A bird just flew by. It scared me. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta show you this bird. Never mind, he flew away. All right, let's get going. Oh. HD Alex.
walking around for probably 30 minutes, really struggling to find a composition. It's so, it, it's so beautiful, especially coming from somebody that has never experienced fall foliage. It, uh, it's actually overwhelming. There's just so much beauty all around, but to try to capture it in the camera is very challenging and it really makes you question yourself as a photographer. I think I found a composition uh, right at the beginning of the trail that I was on. And basically, I'm trying to cut out the sky as much as possible because it's really hazy. Uh, it's not very pretty in the background, but all of the foliage and the forestation is absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm actually shooting downwards and I'm getting the footpath and it goes back and forth and kind of leads your eye through the image. My only concern is that there's a lot of distractions on the left hand and right hand sides that aren't necessarily uh, part of, the, that I want to be part of the photo. But I think it might work, so we're going to take a few shots and see how they turn out. To explain a little bit about this shot, I'm shooting your typical settings, ISO 100, F8, and I'm all the way zoomed in at 35 millimeters on my wide angle lens. The reason is, like I said, I wanted to keep as much of the sky out of the photo as I can, just because of how it looks, it detracts from the photo, uh, and so I'm trying my best to keep the frame as small as possible. The only extra thing I'm doing is I'm bracketing my photos, but I'm not going to use the plus two EV exposure. Uh, I will likely only potentially use the negative two EV and your zero EV. And that is because I can pretty much capture most of the image in one exposure, but I really want to be able to make sure I get that color and those, the, just the aspen colors and all of their shades uh, without blowing them out too much. So I took an extra negative two EV exposure for that. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. I don't, I really can't tell when I look through the viewfinder. I actually think it looks good, but it's one of those things where when I look at it, I won't actually know until we get on the computer. So hopefully you see it. Bye for now. I think I found what we're gonna shoot either tonight or tomorrow morning. This composition is awesome. It's got the road leading you into the two hills that are full of aspen trees with the peaks in the background. It doesn't get much better than this. But as you can tell, the conditions right now are, <laughs> there's a dog running around with a jingle bell on it. The conditions right now are not ideal. Uh, it's midday, about 11 o'clock, and um, you kind of have to learn to find spots like this when the lighting isn't great and then come back to them. That's kind of what my plan was coming here. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta, you gotta see this. Sorry, pardon the interruption there. Hi. Did you catch any? No luck. Anyways, so either tonight the sun uh, sets in this direction, so the clouds, mountains could look really good over here. It also rises in that direction, so all this stuff could look really good. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I definitely think I will be back here. Now, it's time for lunch. <laughs> no birds.
It's been a long day. Uh, the last time you saw me was pretty early, 10.30, I think, and I was eating. And now it is 6.12. I've just been driving around everywhere. And this place is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've been to such a beautiful place in all of America. And I've been to some pretty beautiful places. And I will say the conditions today have been really bad for photography, which is why this is the next time you're seeing me is I've hopped out of my car at least 40 times to take some photos and there's just been so much haze. It's the worst haze I think I've ever seen. But to combat that, what I've been trying to do is shoot uh, smaller. Instead of grandiose big backgrounds where you can see the haze, I've been trying to shoot one tree, just some tr tree trunks, uh, the road I'm driving on. Uh, and you, I might put up some of the pictures that I got earlier today. I don't know if any of them came out. It's been very tough. There has been very little light. And if there was light, it's this weird, not diffused light, but kind of diffused light. It just, it, it's not very good. So no telling if I got anything. But here for sunset, the area I was driving in has cleared up a decent amount right behind me. And there's clouds right behind this mountain, which there haven't been, there was no clouds this morning or uh, yesterday. And it's, this is the clearest I found on the whole road that I've been driving on. So I just stopped here to try to find a composition. And the composition I have found is you see this dead aspen tree right here. And you can also see this grove of aspens right here. And the idea that I'm gonna to try to do is contrast the dead aspen with the living aspens. And my setup is 7200 on portrait, uh, right at about 70. And the aspen is directly in the middle of the frame. And what I'll likely do is take about a four shot pano and have a very wide shot that gets the whole mountain and have the aspen right in the middle of the frame. I'm not sure it's gonna work. I tried to balance the aspen tree with the, sorry, the dead aspen tree with the living aspen trees. And I, I just didn't know if it worked or not. And it felt, it felt more right to just put it directly in the center of the frame. Uh, right now we're just waiting on the light. It's, the sun is stuck behind some clouds, but it does look promising. It looks much clearer as it sets. And I really think we might get some, some color on this hillside and these mountains, and I'm super excited. So now it's just a waiting game. The sun is in full swing now, uh, as you can tell on my face. Uh, also, you can tell that I, I moved the camera a little bit. I actually started shooting with the X-T4 uh, just to get a, the other composition that I wanted to try, which is um, the tree, the dead aspen on the left side, and the living trees on the right side to kind of balance the frame. I just couldn't decide if that's what I wanted to shoot on my main camera or not. I just, I didn't know which one was going to work, so I'm just going to shoot both. Uh, sometimes that's how it is. That just being able to shoot with the Fuji means I don't have to change the lenses on my main camera every time I want to try the different comp. So we're still waiting for the perfect light. It's uh, definitely more vibrant now and I'm going to keep shooting a few photos. Uh, we'll probably actually wait, hopefully, until the sun fully sets and we can get some uh, of that red, that red golden light. So yeah, I hope this one turns out. It's pretty cool. I honestly think the weakest part could be the composition that I've chosen. Um, just because there's just not enough of this with the mountain and there's not enough to balance with this, but it could turn out. So uh, I'm optimistic. For anyone wondering settings wise, uh, the only out of the ordinary thing is I'm using a polarizer because like I said, it's been hazy all day and I will cut out as much haze as I possibly can, even though 
it's not too bad on the peaks behind me. It's terrible uh, in that direction, but that's basically the only thing I'm using out of the ordinary. ISO 100, F8, uh, shutter speed, doesn't matter. I just have it on whatever I need for the exposure, and uh, that's how we've got it set up. So I'm going to keep taking some photos. Alright, so as luck would have it on this trip so far, um, the light didn't happen. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, you're not going to get a shot every day. And I took a lot of shots. Maybe something came out. The important thing is uh, I really learned the area. Well, I started to learn the area. I have not learned the area. The area is massive. I, I only drove on two roads, it seems like, uh, and spent all day jumping in and out of the car looking for compositions. And I think that's probably more important than getting a portfolio worthy shot. Uh, just because knowing the area, especially a place you're gonna come back to like this, it, it's really important. Uh, if you, the next time I come and I know where to shoot and I know where to camp and I know good compositions, I can get far more photos that time around than maybe this time, right? Uh, it also just, it generally helps to just know a area where, where it's good, where the light is best and depending on the time of day. And realistically, I just, man, photography, <laughs> it, it changes you. It, I, I, I've been shooting for years, but it's really, I wouldn't be standing here talking to this camera, well, talking to you guys, uh, without it. And uh, I cannot thank it enough. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's helped me with many of the tough times that I've had in my life. And even the good times, it just makes them better. It makes me drive down the road and look for compositions or leading lines or chaos or, you know, old and new. And I look at the world in a different way and I can't thank photography enough to see that. And I, I don't know what I would do without it. So I hope you guys, if you're looking to getting into photography, uh, you should. And if you are into photography, I hope you can relate. If you don't see me again, you'll probably see me tomorrow morning. Uh, I do think that there is a possibility that maybe, maybe there's a blue hour shot, which I'm still kind of waiting for, but uh, I don't think so. So this is probably the last time you'll see me. Uh, so, uh, well, <laughs> that, that was very morbid. This is probably the last time you'll ever see me. No, um, this is probably the last time you'll see me until tomorrow. So uh, I got to find a place to camp and make some food and uh, get to sleep. So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know today has been somewhat chaotic, but I uh, hope it was easy to follow along and the content was good. Because I have no idea. I haven't seen it yet. So, uh, anyways, I'm Ray on. Bye for now. Porcupine. Holy crap.